Hi, this is Jared from Brickhouse Media Co. I want to show you today how to use Buffer. Buffer is a way to bring in a lot of your social media accounts from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and even Pinterest now and Google Plus to bring content in and then share it and buffer it out over a schedule. So it will time release a group of posts that are added into a queue and you can sort them and you can send them by time or you can send them immediately if you'd like to. But it's a way to kind of organize your social media posts and get them out in a time released fashion. So I'm going to show you how to use it in two ways. Right now I'm using Safari as a browser and they both have plugins that go in onto the page which means you just click a button and it brings up a pop-up. So I'm going to show you both ways to do it. So the first way to do it is I'm going to go to a website and this is a crowdfunding campaign, the Purpose Revolution, that we're working on right now. And we want to share this campaign. So what I'm going to do is hit the little buffer icon, which is the three buttons up top. And you can see it's going to pull content from that page. We can customize any of this content. We can change any of the text. One thing we probably don't want to change is this URL, which has been shortened. Um, if you click here, you can turn on and off. It's either in full color or gray if it's working. And this will share to that profile or not. So this is a personal. And if you roll over it, it will show you what profile it will share to. So for this campaign, I'm going to share it to all the profiles. Let's go through them. LinkedIn, and this is our company profiles. And then these are Pinterest. So Pinterest works slightly different, where you actually have to have a preset Pinterest account. And then you pick a board. And this one's going to go on to multimedia services. Actually, let's put it in motivations. And then you can turn on and off. This is a group called Lojas, and it's a large group, so I don't always share to it. So I'm going to turn that off for now. Um, I'm going to modify this text. And if you look here, here's the 45. And this is based on Twitter and the 140 character maximum. Um, if we add a photo, that is going to take up some of the character limit. So this is the photo that goes along with the campaign. And you can see this number is going to drop once we attach a photo. So it just dropped down to 21. I'm going to make this a very active are you as a join the revolution you're seeing the number drop and don't worry about it going negative because we can clean it up click here to support Click here and change your life. And then the hashtag we use, which is on, is life of. So you can add hashtags here. You can add it in later. Um, you can edit this if you time schedule in advance. And then let's put um, Indiegogo. That reminds people that it's a crowdfunding campaign. Um, you can copy the same title or write a unique title that's going to go to Facebook. Or you can just leave it the same. Here's your photo. Here is the source website. And if it's not filled in, you can type it in. And if I hit add to queue, there's a couple options here under this arrow. There's share it next, which would be the next queue, next post in the queue. So if there's five posts, it will be number two, not number six. You can share it now, which goes out immediately to all these networks. And then you can schedule the post. So I'm gonna, right now I'm going to schedule this. So I'm going to schedule this for tomorrow morning at, let's say, 10 a.m., 10.32 a.m. You can schedule. And then I hit schedule, and that will be the um, the end of this process. So it works extremely similar on the web app. It looks like the same exact interface. And this is just a way to show you how to use it using the pin as a plugin. So if we're here, we can also just type it in here, join the purpose revolution. Today now on Indiegogo, one-third funded in under 24 hours. And I'm going to type in here Indiegogo. And this is the source website of whatever you're sharing. I'm going to grab the same photo. It only takes JPEGs and PSD, or JPEGs and uh, PNGs. And then here is the link. That's the photo it's going to share. And then here's the link we're going to share. IGG, maybe, uh, and it's going to shorten that link 
If you see it, one sec, here's the shorter link, and that just takes up a little bit less space. And this way I can turn on and off certain posts, and I can let other, and I can turn off Pinterest by deselecting it, but I still have the photo attached. I'm gonna hit add to queue for this one, and I'm gonna show you where it is on the left side. So if you look on the left, there's a number next to all the profiles that are checked. And so when I go into those after this is saved, Got it, so now these numbers increase by the number of posts that are sitting in the queue. So let's go look at the one we just did. And then here it is, this is the one, join the one third funded. So this is the next one, I can drag and move them if I wanna change the times. I can switch to a custom time at this point, I can change any of the times. Let's make this 11.02 and then hit set. So as you can see, and you wanna set your time zone. So right now this is gonna go out at 11.02 and on LinkedIn. So at this point, if I want to customize this, then I have to actually click each profile. But most people don't have this many pages and accounts to connect. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions for me, send me an email. It's jared at bhmedia.co. Hope this helps, and let us know if you have any questions. Take care.